episode 43 okay cool let me know all right guys welcome back to the davidus damn podcast episode 43 it's been a fucking minute <laughs> wow already on 43 damn yeah yeah well no i mean i had a podcast before this but it wasn't called davidus den so once we did the switch i started like actually counting the episodes but we got our co-host christian yee Hello, guys. Thanks for having me, Davidge. You're welcome. Happy to be back. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, feels we're missing, good, yeah. We're missing Dom. Really good. Yeah, we're missing Dom. She ain't going to be back. She's not going to be back. She's with our dog, Winter, in uh, Chicago. So Is it cold in Chicago? I don't know. I don't know. She sent me a video of the, the puppy. She likes, she snow, likes so the maybe. dog likes the snow, though. She does like the snow. She's a husky. Yeah, makes sense. Huskies like some snow. So we just got back from Puerto Rico. Uh, I got a battle scar. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck happened? Can we zoom in on that battle scar? Look at that thing. That thing's fucking huge. Coconut fell on my head. Well, that's what I said on social media. But really, I was trying to, like, <clears throat> we went to this place called um, Crash Boat. Be- Crash Boat. Crash, Crash Boat. Bo- Crash Boat yeah. Beach. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try to gain her off this, <laughs> <laughs> off this thing. And I was like, oh, this seems like a good spot. And I guess it was really shallow and didn't get the full rotation. Yeah. And, and uh, now, now, I, now I have a nice. You were all like, dude. Your head is bleeding. <laughs> yeah, it was bad, bro, because we were just jumping off of this, uh, this like not like a cliff, but like a ledge, it's like, a, like a pier. It, yeah, it's like a pier. It's but yeah. it was it's cool. It was cool, but yeah, it was super shallow where I jumped. Probably not the best decision. Yeah. It was after that pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a little fucked up. Yeah, but I saw you and like you looked like you landed it clean, but when you walked out of the ocean, your face was like it looked like your shirt. You know what I mean? Like I was like, nah, what the fuck? I mean, yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, I had fun. That was fun. And I like to, my, we took our mom with me to Puerto Rico and uh, I like how you had tripping. your, she was tripping cause that, and then you used your hair to like cover it up. Yeah. So I did my hair, funny. but usually it's like draped over and yeah, no one noticed, but. But Puerto Rico is fun, man. We stayed in Dorado for a week. Um, beautiful, beautiful place. Honestly, pretty humid though. Like a week was enough for me. Like yeah. that was like, it's like. You wake up feeling sticky, and then mm-hmm. you take a shower, and then immediately you feel dirty. It's fucking awful. Yeah. Oh, shit. That shit just... It's not so good. Timed out. Okay. It's just... Yeah, it feels sticky. Like, you feel like your skin is, like, oily, like... Yeah, but it yeah. was beautiful, but it feels like <clears throat> for, like... It's really expensive for, like, how, like, kind of not, like, yeah. with the times it is. Yeah. Well, when we got there, when we were driving from uh, the airport, we saw the gas prices, and it said like eleven. Oh yes, they they measure yeah. it by the liter, and like the decimal point was in the wrong spot. So I was like, "Holy shit, it's like eleven dollars a yeah. gallon here." But it's not actually. It's, it's not. Like, it's by it's, it's like liter. one dollar and change for a liter. Yeah, so it's like four dollars a gallon. But yeah. But it's a beautiful place, man. I feel like we probably didn't need to go for a week, but I think a couple of days in Puerto Rico is is enough to like really soak it in. I I shit. had fun, but. It, it was a lot too yeah, yeah it, it was, was a lot. lot but yeah where's next we got miami tomorrow uh we got the grand prix f1 oh, race fuck we just yeah. came home and and this guy's like hey i, I have some business in miami. <laughs> <laughs> miami well no just honestly so yeah we got back from puerto rico yesterday yesterday at 7 p.m i got my hair cut and then from 7 p.m to 7 a.m we literally knocked the fuck out yeah and didn't wake up and then we woke up and then this Miami literally happened this morning. But we're going to Miami. It's the F1 Grand Prix, which is dope. You ever been to a racing event? I've been to the Long Beach, like, Grand Prix. I don't think that's as big as this one. No, like this, I, I think this is like now. Yeah, that shit's like, no. Yeah. But, but we're going, you know, we're doing some fun business out there. So excited. And then we come back and we pop out again. We actually, we'll have a week, I think, in LA where we can just actually stop, chill. man. Yeah, but we're going to VCon. Big shout out to Gary V. If you guys haven't watched the Impulsive episode that he did, uh, I think it came out yesterday. Really great. Like, he talks a lot about crypto, NFTs, what is the blockchain, like, shit like that. So definitely check that out. But we got VCon in Minnesota. Man, I, I'm trying to, like, still adjust, like, to this, like... When I when I'm out, like, I go into vacation mode, and then I go into, like, work mode. And then when I'm back, I'm in, like, work mode. And I'm I'm trying to like figure out that balance between like working yeah. and playing. Like it's hard to focus, man. I don't it's know called how you a vacation. Do it. it is, it is. But like when I'm on vacation, I'm like, let's drink, let's, let's get, get fucked. let's get fucked <laughs> up. Like, yeah. And then so it's like hard for me to focus, but I'm 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 working on it. But yeah, 
like any skill it takes practice <laughs> it takes it takes practice bro honestly yeah. I, i'm able to kind of do it but it's like but it's a blessing to be able to 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 do like travel and work and and yeah i don't i don't think you can really beat that yeah so I'm, I'm it's fun i feel like this year like i'm really trying to embrace like the digital nomad kind of life because the last couple of years has been like just so focused building division media yeah. you know what i mean but now yeah. it's like i want to enjoy the fruits of that labor that we all are putting in like and yeah, I don't think we crazy. realize the impact that we have in the space. You Honestly, I mean? when I started, I didn't. But <clears throat> seeing like who's like who's on the calls and who's like giving us kudos on the like pats on the back, I'm like, damn, like we really are like doing something right. Like, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> a little backstory. I don't know why I'm going to go back. Divij started. We've been we've been friends for a while, but he started yeah. like three years ago, and I was doing photography. Yeah. And um. And he was like, hey, you want to come work with Division Media? I was like, yeah. And then I started for like a week and I was just like, you know, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Yeah. And then I and then I timed out. And then two years later, it's it's gotten to where it's at. And I'm just like, oh, yeah. I can't now. I can't ignore it anymore. Like, I'm like, yo, I got to I got to learn this. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a real substantial it's, it, it's business. Awesome. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah, it's awesome. And it's just the beginning. But, yeah. you know, it, it's going to be fun. I think Miami, you know, will be fun. And um I, we got some stuff out there which i wish we could talk about but i can't yet but um yeah definitely exciting stuff but anyways i guess let's talk about what's going on in the world shall some we? current events yeah some current i think that's where i want to take this podcast is like do more episodes with you and dom as the co-host you know hopefully if you guys would like to be here and then we'll have guests on and shit but then just like touching more on kind of what's going on in the world you know like talk about interesting shit um but obviously right now we just had the met gala which honestly, I didn't know what the fuck even, that was. What is the Met Gala? All I know is like people talk know. about like fashion. That's it. Like what? Like is yeah. there is there a reason for it? Like I think I think it's just a bunch of celebrities and like high profile people get to into show off their nice outfits. their fashion. Yeah. So like Elon Musk was there this year. They had fucking uh, Gunna, Haley Bieber was there even despite her surgery or some shit that just happened. Hope she's okay. Russell Westbrook was there. Uh, I think I just said Elon. Elon Musk was there. Fucking. Why weren't we there? Dude, I think it's super exclusive. I think it's like, like, <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I think like those people that go there, like they spend like millions of dollars on like outfits. Yeah. Like, well, no, I think like you jewelry. have to have a like a partnership or be sponsored by like a major brand. Oh. That gives you your outfit. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think I would want to. It's too, too much, too much, too much, uh. Too many eyes. I don't know. For me, I'm, I want to be like low key. You don't like being on. Like, yeah, I'd like to, but you know, uh, we gotta get I don't, to that. It's not level. that I don't like being like in. Uh, I'm like, I'm like. Sometimes I'm feeling like being public, and sometimes I'd rather not. Yeah. But more and more, like as we go on, I'm trying to be more private. But yeah, I feel that. Yeah. But at, at the Met Gala, uh, Elon, uh, obviously, there's a bunch of shit happening with him in the the Twitter acquisition, which I think he's buying for forty four billion dollars, which is crazy. And he was talking about in an interview, he said, uh, it's basically like he was like declaring war on Twitter. Like he uh, he wants to get people talking. He wants to kind of so revive gonna change freedom of speech. With, yeah. e with uh, Elon taking like. He's going to get rid of all the fucking bots and all the trolls and all the bullshit that happens on Twitter. And he's basically, from what I understand, he wants to make it a place where you can say literally whatever the fuck you want. Do you, you think, want. okay, so when when that happens that like fosters like a community of false information being circulated yeah do you think that's true yeah would you agree yeah so I think will that be like bad, bad. i mean I, I i know free speech is good but i th is that bad i think it's i think that's always going to be there right like we could be on this podcast right now saying shit that literally isn't even true and just spread misinformation but i think why it's a good thing is because I think a good example is the Trump episode of Full Send getting taken down. Right. right. YouTube took it down because they said it broke censorship rules. In reality, it's like free, with freedom of speech, why can't, why couldn't Phil Send have that interview? Like, why can't Trump say what he wants to say? Yeah. You know? Yeah, so I yeah. think this is going to be a step forward of like, they might be able to republish that. Up. Well, it's not YouTube, but maybe they'll be able to publish it on the, on the Twitter if they haven't already or like. Do you um, think, do you think uh, Trump will get his Twitter back? Hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's the first thing Elon. Wait, why did do. he even get his Twitter banned? Just because he was saying a I, bunch of bullshit while he was running yeah. the presidency. I think he was just saying a bunch of bullshit. Um, and they banned him for that. Yeah, straight up. He Fucking didn't say him. any. Didn't no? He wasn't he saying some like white supremacist stuff. It, 
I or or it. that 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 I don't know. I don't know. Like, see, this could be misinformation spread. I don't know. It's fine, but, but you know, whatever. But I I don't. Th I think maybe he said some dumb shit. That's probably what he did. Yeah. Uh, I know he's always kind of said a lot of dumb shit. I am I allowed to say that I like Trump? Yeah, I like Trump. You know what I mean? Like, it, I'm in that. <sighs> yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. I I'm, I'm fiscally a... Republican. Is what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well. Yeah. I uh I like. I like Republican, and I like I'm I'm a I guess you can categorize as moderate. Mm. Like I think, uh, oh, this is a perfect segue, right? Yeah. I think I like abortion. Ah, are you are you transitioning into Roe v. Wade? Is that what you did here? <laughs> Great transition. Yeah, Roe v. Wade was apparently overturned by the Supreme no, Court. No, 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 no. See, that's bullshit. Like, no, it wasn't. There was leaked. Supreme Court, um, like decisions that are not set in stone, uh -huh. that want to overturn Roe v. Wade. Okay. Do you want? Do you know what Roe v. Wade is? <laughs> kind of, sort of. So I, <laughs> I study political. I'm science, in the influencer marketing like, business, brother. Yeah, but like I don't, I don't really like. That's why I didn't use it. It's that's fine. Weird. What I have here but, is Supreme Court has voted to overturn abortion rights. It will be now. It will now be regulated at the state level. So right. still at the state level, abortion will still be legal. But apparently. I it's was not. yeah. I also heard that they're trying to like if it's if you have a baby like under twenty weeks, you can still get it aborted. Okay. And then anything after that is that's what I read. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. I think that's I think that's what's going on. I don't so, know how I feel about that, bro. I think people are honestly like, I think people are just making too big. Oh, is this bad? No, say what you want. Bro. I think people are making too big a deal of it. So, I think you get a board if you want to get a board. Still, like, still, I think so. Yeah. Well, I guess the question then and becomes... And nothing is set in stone. Right. But the question then becomes, like, if that 20 weeks thing that you're saying is true, why wouldn't you abort the baby if you know prior to 20 weeks? You know what I mean? Like, you're letting it become... You're letting right, it grow. Right. Like, why wouldn't you do it prior to? So do you right. think that it's okay to set limitations on when that they can abort their babies? Or do you feel like you should be able to abort... Could you, like, could you abort a baby... Three days before you feel like you're about to have your fucking child, you know. Yeah, I think. I... Or is that murder? It's like it's about. It's, the baby's literally about to pop out for the vagina. Like it's. Yeah, it's it probably can like think and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I think ultimately, until that baby is breathing air <laughs> <laughs> on its own, that the parents can make the decision. Make the decision. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. But um, I don't, I don't think, like I said, not, that nothing has changed. People are just like getting all like crazy about it. Like, it, it might not, it might, nothing might not happen at all. Yeah. So I, I don't know. But I do like, I am anti or not, <laughs> I am pro pro life or pro abortion. <laughs> do you even know what you're saying? No man, is, bro? I I think I got like a. I honestly, I'm like, I'm of the opinion, bro, of like, have your abortion. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I think it's the women's decision. It's their body. Sheesh. You know what I mean? Seriously. Like you don't you, have a you so you don't have a say in it. No, I if if I get a girl pregnant, she should have in my opinion, she should have the choice to be able to like have that baby or not have that baby. Because it's her body. All right, all right. You know Let's I mean? I'll say gladly fine, pay the child's fine. You're yeah, okay. You're you're uh fiscally or financially like able to. What about someone that doesn't that if they if this kid comes into life, they're gonna grow up in poverty. They're gonna ha not have like a good like um, and that might not, you know, be for life, you know, mm -hmm. but at that current stage that their parents are at, maybe they're not going to have a steady mom and dad or the, you know, maybe it's going to be a hard life. Like, yeah. you know, you don't like with the kid's best interest in mind, you don't think like it's probably not the best time for this kid. And maybe like five years later might be a better time. And no, have the fucking child and get your shit together. Get to work, work, work three uh, jobs. Like I did my parents, bro. My parents did it. You know, like, yeah, I, know. I didn't. A lot I didn't of people grow up did rich. do it. Yeah, a lot of people did do it. My my dad said he got his shit together because he got he he was gonna have a kid. But like, yeah. But some people don't get their shit together. Well, that's on them, bro. Yeah, I, I guess think so. if if you have sex, whether it's protected or unprotected, and your the lady girl gets pregnant, she should be able to have the choice, regardless right. of their fiscal situation. It is my opinion. You know what I mean? Like if you're broke as fuck. That. Don't have sex. I agree with that. I think, yeah, I think that with 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 boning, there's a certain level of responsibility that comes with it. Like, yeah, like get your bread together, then go have sex. You know, <laughs> like why are you boning a chick on a Wednesday night when you really should should be working that third job so that you can get your bread up so that when you do have a child, you can actually fucking afford it. 
You know what I mean? That's my opinion. Yeah. I don't know. Fair enough. Fair enough. I would, I, I would I, love to have a kid, though. I'm I agree. Ready. I agree with that, like, in theory, but life is hard, man. What if What if you got your shit together and then fucking something happens? You, you fucking get your leg cut off and then you can't work. Oh, fucking get a, and you, that get means a, that you get your leg cut off. You can't have a kid. You can't get bond. a wooden. St- what are those things called? A wooden stick? peg leg. Yeah, get a fucking <laughs> peg leg, bro. Figure it out. Right. Wear an eye pad. Right. Right. Yeah, I guess. Turn I guess. A, a yeah, pirate. figure it out. So, That's... so you're so you're just saying like just man up and be responsible and fair enough. All right, I agree That's with that. I cool. I don't know. Um. All right. So <laughs> next topic, I guess. Jet to Blue. Dude. All I know about JetBlue is I heard Mike Tyson knock some motherfucker. Yeah, did you see that shit? Yeah, but nothing is so definitely. I think like I saw the video. Guy looked <laughs> real sad. <laughs> they Wait, took, Mike like, a Tyson screenshot. was sad or the other no, guy? No, Tyson did not look sad. Tyson, I think he was totally within reason. Totally yeah. to to the guy. Like they asked him for a uh, statement, wouldn't give a statement. I think he just. I think they were saying like he was boozed up, like yeah. he was drunk, and like. I I think Tyson's fine. I don't think he's gonna get in trouble for that. I, I think, don't think so either. I mean, I, I don't think, know if you saw the video, but that kid was like in his fucking ear the whole yeah, time. Yeah, he was like, being he was definitely like heckling him really bad. And yeah, I mean, you don't even have to touch someone to to be assaulting them. Yeah, he was definitely assaulting. Yeah, he definitely assaulted it, and I think it would Mike was in the reason to yeah to fuck him up. Good yeah. job, Mike. Kudos. Good job, Mike. Hopefully, one day we have him on the podcast. That would be that crazy. would be epic. Yeah, we'll manifest that shit. Yeah. Um, but what the other if... shit that also we are flying JetBlue to Miami tomorrow. Oh shit! Yeah, so let's make sure we're That's not. Yeah, there's a lot of heat on it. JetBlue yeah, right apparently, now. Apparently, apparently, but apparently, uh, I saw this video. There was a couple white folks, older, uh, sitting on a plane, and uh, they were getting kicked off. Apparently, they said some racial shit or some some slurs or whatever they did say the f word uh wait okay what kind of racial stuff like like sexually racial like you don't gotta say it but like was it what do you a gay okay, person was, calling oh, them the f word oh right so they were just screaming that name or that word and then i think like they were just like just being fucking annoying saying shit so jeple kicked him off but um there's this whole thing like they what they were saying was like we're getting kicked off because we're Republican because we're Trump supporters. That's bullshit. People are yeah. People will just cling on to any fucking yeah reason like yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. Just I agree. People just need to fucking be accountable and just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Or like, like yeah. And then she started talking about like Elon Musk. Like and I, I and <laughs> I, I gotta think, watch this. You gotta watch it. But I think that it just shows you like social media news like brainwash. You know, like, think about all the people. Like, meanwhile, while you and I are making a podcast, traveling, doing business, doing fun shit, working, people are literally just at their homes right now watching the news, soaking in all this negativity. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, it, it's kind of, it kind of, kind of sucks. I, yeah, like, I know social media is like, is, is kind of toxic in a lot of ways. Like, yeah. do you think, do you think, uh, Elon's Twitter thing is going to make it more toxic? Because people, yes. if people are technically <laughs> about to say what they want. I feel like there's going to be a more hate speech going on, right? Because they censor like hate speech and stuff like that, or anything that promotes dangerous behavior. Well, I feel like they might still have like those parameters of like you can't say. So it so it's technically not fully. Well, maybe I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what he means by that. Like, yeah. like really, because sure. like, yeah, they take shit down if it if it's promoting like dangerous behaviors or like radical ideals and shit like that. But if he's saying, "Oh, I want to be like completely free with it," then is he promoting like anarchism and shit like that? Oh shit! You know, it, you True. go way down the rabbit hole with like what the fuck he's trying talking about. So you're saying like people could get on there and like literally like, like dude, like, start like, cults and shit. Cults and shit. Yeah, yeah, like start like oh let's fucking kill babies. I mean <laughs> back to abortion, <laughs> but let's yeah let's like let's sacrifice fucking babies and yeah. shit. You know like whatever. So I don't know, man. We'll see how that plays out, right? Yeah. Do you think freedom of speech is dead? In the U.S.? I think, I mean, I could say anything I want right here, right now, but I think once it gets public or if it starts garnering attention and it's not what the government wants people to know, then I think it's going to, they're going to fucking censor it. But, yeah. like, obviously you got to be someone of substance to, for that to happen to. Or it has, you know, I don't know. But I don't think, I think, I think we have freedom of speech to a certain extent. Yeah. 
and I think once once it starts going against the government's agenda, then mm-hmm. no, nah, we don't. That's true. I think that's the key right there is like government. And so what I read was uh, Elon is going to charge government. I think he said like government users, like a fee to actually use Twitter. So I think, yeah. So I think the key here is, is like, is the government like. Dude, Eli is smart. You say Eli? (laughs) Elon. (laughs) Eli Manning. Uh, Is Eli Eli still playing football, by the way? I haven't Uh, seen that. I don't know, but. I don't, I don't think know. so. I don't know. Ah, I, I don't know, man. Don't know. Them, them brothers are old now. Yeah, so. old ass motherfuckers. Yeah. They, they held it down. But anyways, a lot of other cool shit going on. Uh, Dave Chappelle got fucking attacked <laughs> on stage. You see that? that was, I I think I saw it briefly. Yeah. I thought okay, so I saw. Um, I didn't actually see it. I saw like people posting about it on social media. Yeah. Uh, my crazy brain was like, oh, it's a fucking, it's a conspiracy. Like this shit was all planned because. Chris Rock sold out his comedy tour right after he got slapped. Oh, after he got slapped. He yeah, and really I was like, oh, this shit. is a plan. But then one of our mutual friends was like, I was there, and I saw the, the guy, and he was in bad shape. The guy who attacked <laughs> Yeah, Dave? and I guess well, he yeah, got taken out Yeah, because the security beat the fuck yeah. out of him. Yeah, so that makes me believe, like, maybe maybe that dude got paid out, though, yeah. to get his ass whooped. Well, I guess that's something to talk about, is like, because any time you see – like a fan or a heckler go on stage and like attack the performer even after their security takes care of them and puts them to the side like they always beat the fuck out of them you know like they always kick them in the face they as always... they should i feel like but is that is that assault nah he is he assaulted a person first but then once he's not attacking dave he's not a threat yeah anymore. but I they did know. say he had a gun they did he say he had a gun yeah dude i guess like <sighs> i don't know man i yeah it's weird. i think i think that dude should get his ass whooped. Yeah. I he mean, had a gun, too. That's scary. Yeah, he had a gun. That's scary. And uh, did was there any, like, reason? Was there any motive? Did did you hear about that? Was I that didn't hear about motive. I mean, he could have. If he had a gun, obviously, he could have just stood up there and shot. Right? I, so, oh, like, better question. How did he get a gun into the Hollywood into the Bowl? Yeah. That's another big issue, bro. It's, like, Dude, security at these venues. Like, all I know is uh, at Coachella, they didn't check me for shit. Yeah. Scary. Coachella was dope. We never talked we're about Coachella. Yeah, we're oh yeah, Coachella was dope. Coachella Damn. Was crazy. What so like yeah, back to that, like Yeah. Not checking. You can sneak anything. You can sneak whatever you want. Yeah, how did he get a gun in, up in there? I don't know. I didn't even think about that. Scary. Yeah. But luckily Dave's fine. After uh, that happened, Jamie Foxx comes on stage in his fucking sheriff hat. <laughs> and they kinda turned it into like a comedy and then fucking uh Chris, Chris Rock, Rock came on. He's like, Was that Will Smith? And I was like, that's okay. Like, this is good. They turned it into a joke. Yeah, yeah. That, that's great. That's great publicity, man. It is. I mean, it, thank God no one was hurt, but probably yeah. probably great for commercial <laughs> yeah. sales. Oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder what that dude is going to get charged with. Probably Is it going to be assault? like assault with a deadly weapon, though? Or just assault? Well, he didn't use the weapon, so I, I don't think so. I feel like it would just be like public nuisance and like mm. assault. Assault for sure. Yeah, I would think. Well, shout out to that guy for, yeah, for boosting Dave's profile. Yeah, honestly, because we're sitting here talking about him. Right. Yeah. Big shout out to Dave. You know who's not okay? Black China. What? Lost her. <laughs> she lost Dude. her lawsuit. Oh. She's not. She. Wait. Okay. What's what lawsuit? Like so she the kids or what? No, no, no. Does she have kids with someone? Yeah, like, Rob Kardashian. Rob? Oh, with Rob. Okay, yeah. So Kim, or I guess she, Black China, who used to be friends with all these Kardashian people, like she claimed that there was defamation on the behalf of Chloe, Kim, and Kris Jenner. What or, saying on her be like saying they talking were talking shit about, on Black they China. They were talking shit on her, but there was it was not defamation; it was all facts. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was defamation. I don't know, but she she lost. she lost the lawsuit. The jury said that Black China did not was not uh uh she should not receive a hundred million dollars that she fucking dude Rob doesn't even have a hundred million dollars. Oh, I feel like Rob's kind of, what is he doing? He's, dude, he's, he's, he's the royal bum, dude. <laughs> like, he's not doing anything. <laughs> Must be nice, Rob. Dude, Rob, you're living the life we all want to live. Just kidding, Nob. Nah, I have no come. idea who Rob is. Rob is the fat guy. kind of fat? <laughs> dude, sorry, I'm being an asshole, but he's, uh, he's, uh, I envy you, Rob. I wish I was in, yeah, your, you I wish I was in your position, bro. Like, you wish you were as rich as Rob. Kardashian. I wish I was as rich as you, man. <laughs> to drive around nice cars and it must not be do nice. shit. 
<laughs> you got some beef with Rob Kardashian? Nah, I don't bro? have a problem with him. I think he's not. You know he went to SC? Did he? Yeah. We know his parents paid for that shit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, Black China lost that shit. Uh, Wait, so who initiated the lawsuit? Though? It was Black China. She, she claimed did? that there was defamation against her from on keeping up with Kardashians. Like, she said they were talking shit. You know they got a new show too. Which one? The Kardashians. They, they got a. New a new, I mean, they're getting a like a new um, season. Yeah. Like a renewal. Yeah, lucky. It's that. a great show. They're gonna get paid. Like, uh, uh, I mean, they don't. They got enough money to like sustain like ten lives, but like, yeah. Damn, people are really interested in that family. Dude, they're killing it. You see all the sex tape stuff that's going on? Who, who's got a new sex tape out? No, no, no. It's the same sex tape. Remember that sex tape with uh, Kanye? Ray J? Yeah, so Ray J. Kanye, who, by the way, is obviously having, he's been having beef with Kim because of the Pete Davidson situation, right? Yeah. Who, by the way, Kanye. I think got tattoos of like Kim's, Kim's kids. kids on him, which is a fucking goat move. Big shout out to Pete. Date of the hottest, <laughs> date of the hottest girls ever, bro. Pete Davidson, fuck it. Or no, uh, Ariana Grande. Yeah, our, our VP. <laughs> Uh, Lulu was like, "Hey, uh, there's this like theory going on that Pete's getting like, like, dating all these uh Illuminati children of the Illuminati to get revenge for his dad getting oh, killed God. on nine eleven." I was like, Jesus "Oh shit, Christ. that's funny." Yeah, Pete's a goat, bro. He he's is funny dude. too. Yeah, he's. I don't get it. I don't get it. But dude, I don't Pete, get it either. You, you are, you are truly. It's got it. He probably just has a really big dick. Like, let's I mean, honest. that's. I think that's. I think everyone knows that now. But like, yeah. that can't be the only reason. He gotta be cool as shit too. He's know? comedian. He's funny. Yeah, you funny gotta be guy. cool. Like, in order to do that. Yeah, but, but what, what were we talking about, Pete? Uh, oh, oh, so Ray J. Yeah. Or Kanye, actually, I guess. Kanye, Ray J. I guess he took a step. Kanye took a step forward and like tried to like be better towards Kim. So he met Ray J at the airport in New York. <laughs> He flew for, literally. He flew from LA to New York and back in the same night, just to get the actual hard drive and the footage of the sex tape from Ray J. And he gifted it to Kim. No way. Yeah, this is real shit. Wow. Crazy stuff. Hey Kanye. Good job. Right. Yeah. Big shout out to Kanye. Right, man. I, being, I respect that man. Being a good man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but at the end of the day, man, Kanye, you are a good dude. You're crazy, but <laughs> I, I fuck with you, but. He needed to let it go, brother. Like, yeah, I think he just he needs, needs to, to let it on. go, man. Like, you're Kanye West, man. You get anyone you want. He get any girl. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, he was dating. Uh, no, he's yeah, like, yeah. he's like, didn't wasn't there like a thing where he's like dating someone new? He was dating uh, some actress lady with <laughs> a really big ass. Like, he always dates the people with like. Big Kanye butts. like that booty. He likes that fake booty. I don't. I don't like fake booty. Fake booty. I yeah, okay. yeah, a little weird for me too. Yeah, it feels, just, it feels like a, <laughs> feels like a piece this. of plastic, it's like a water bottle. Yeah, and plus, bro, if, what if it pops? You know, like what? I don't think it's like. Then you got glue all over you. You got clean it up. <laughs> like you don't want to. I don't think. That. I don't think the booty is like that. I th isn't it like they just take fat and like put it in, or is it like they actually <laughs> put like a fucking like. I don't know. Oh, it's not. I'm thinking of like the sacks that they put in tits, like the. Yeah. No, 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 no. I got clarification while we're in Puerto Rico because apparently, like, a lot of women have those there. But a BBL is where they take fat and put it, they inject in it, like, uh... from your stomach and ass. And I think there's a difference between a BBL and then a silicone implant. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. But... Well, I guess I'm not opposed to it. I think it's just fake titties that really scare me. Because, like, Everyone, dude, we live in LA. I think like every person here has them. Yeah, it sucks. Every female has them. Yeah, it sucks. Really? Yeah, I don't fuck with it, dude. Uh, I just don't. I think they're okay, but if it doesn't fit like the body, then it's like. Oh yeah, if they're like a small girl, then you know, yeah, so, yeah, and that's that's a little weird, but I don't. Know, weird. That's, that's all right to me. Yeah. Speaking of uh, fake titties, uh, Miami. <laughs> Miami, that's I've never been to Miami. Yeah, so Miami's gonna be great. Dude. I think. Uh, all right, we yeah. talked about that. Uh, speaking of fake titties, Post Malone's gonna be a father. <laughs> what does that have to do with <laughs> fake titties? And I don't know how. We should clip that though. We should. Make yeah. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> who is the baby mama? I don't know. If you guys know who the Post Malone baby mama is, please Leave drop it in the, in the yeah, comments because we have no idea. I didn't even know Post Malone was seeing anybody. Well, he when he's he first super came private up, though, huh? Yeah, he is. We had a, when he first came up, he was on uh, Breakfast Club and he had mm-hmm. his girl with him. Who he was dating for like years, but I think they right. broke up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I thought he was single, man. Mm-hmm. But it's Post Malone. He, he probably he probably got a bunch of baby moms. It could be anybody. He probably got like ten baby moms. We just don't know about it. Yeah. But you don't. When? When did this happen? Like I don't recently? Know. Yeah. Like when did he conceive? <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I I don't I don't know about that. But this just came out. Like this just came out. Yeah, news? I saw it this morning on Google Trends. Wow. Yeah, wow. he's having a kid. Um, Lucky kid. Yeah, probably gonna be a, a rock star because Post Malone's fucking. He's one of those did artists it, where there has never been any like bad shit about him. Yeah, and Lil Baby. Yeah, I, I, did I tell you that like, man, like I saw Post Malone before he was Post Malone. I mean, he was always Post Malone, but yeah. I saw him at the Echoplex in Echo Park, and he was playing. He was at the time he only had White Iverson out, and it had like a million plays, mm-hmm. and then he was literally singing it because there was no fucking PA system off an i iPod, acapella, and everyone like, everyone like was singing along with him, and he was like, "Damn, like I know y'all fuck with me like that, like." Yeah. And he was just singing it like, and I don't know. It's just, where I'm trying to go is like it's just crazy that I've seen him like his trajectory ascend itself. to yeah. like greatness like within only a couple of years. Like, yeah, it does, I feel like it doesn't take that. It doesn't take long. I feel yeah. like, huh? Right? If you're really just the you're just so that good, you sold you know? the soul to the Illuminati? Just kidding. He might be Illuminati, bro. I don't know. You're really big on this Illuminati shit. I've I, I just been saying it a bunch. Yeah, I think the Illuminati say. killed uh, Virgil, too. Is a controversial statement. Uh, rest think, in peace, Virgil. We've been listening Virgil, to that. Little I think. Dirk song. I think. I think. Uh, Louis Vuitton got their uh, got what they needed from Virgil, and it was time for someone new to step in. You really? I, apparently, it's cancer. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Illuminati induced cancer. They just put a shot in them like mid Louis meeting. They're like, mm-hmm. "Hey, Virgil, Ugh. guys, I, I'm crazy up in the head." So like, no, but rest in peace, Virgil, man. Honestly, like, yeah, I, I mean, legend. Yeah, right? he he did great shit for. for he was cool. Yeah, the design. Yeah, off white. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, crazy. What is going on with off white? There's there's still, still around. Yeah, great brand. Expensive as fuck for no reason, but yeah, great brand. Uh. Another cool thing going on, completely irrelevant from Virgil and whatever else we were just talking about, uh, Yuga Labs, and I, I'm going to nerd out for a second because yeah. I love this shit. I'm just learning about them. Yeah. Or this. Metaverse. About Yuga? So what's crazy, and Gary V talked about this on his Impulsive, but Yuga Labs has been around for about a year. Uh, Yuga, for those of you guys who don't know, is the company. It created, I think one of the owners of it is Guy. Guy something. Guy, Siri, Fury? Siri? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not guy here. Someone who was used to work with Madonna, like he's the fucking guy. I forget his last name. I can't believe I'm blanking. But he's, he's I think he co-founded Yuga Labs or some shit. Yuga is the same company that started Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Board Ape Kennel Club, and now Other Side, which is their uh, metaverse. And in order to buy land within the metaverse, within their metaverse, you need to have what's called an Other Deed, which is basically their NFT token, NFT to purchase within other side so this last week as we were in puerto rico they did the mint uh they launched other side if you held a board ape yacht club uh or a mutant and if you had a board ape kennel club along with one of those you were given the right to claim another deed so as a mutant ape holder i was luckily able to claim my own other deed um and very excited man because if you think about yuga as a project right like they're the most successful company within the NFT space. Mutant Ape Yacht Club, I think, reached like a 35 ETH floor. Right now, it's about 26. Sheesh. Board Ape Yacht Club hit, I think, 140. It's crazy. Which is, you know what, 420 thousand. That's great. Like because I, I really didn't like they, they talk about like utility in these things, and I really yeah. was like, nah, this is just like a. But I there's there's projects where I see the utility, but I just in those ones I just didn't see it. But now I'm finally starting to see it. Yeah. Like. Which is cool because, like, if you hold that shit, like, yeah, you like what you get, it, just just coins just for having, Free ape coin. yeah, for just for having it. And I was yeah. like, damn, like, you really are just yeah, free money. Like, so I was think like, about that, right? And I, I think utility is huge, right? Like when you think about NFTs, like five minutes. Uh, 
Oh, good. With NFTs, uh, you have to think about utility, but with Board Ape Yacht Club and these other yacht clubs, like it's really like a like a rich people club. Like if you hold it, it a it's a people club. sign of status. Dude, I, speaking of rich people, did you see that Elon changed his um, Twitter icon to like Board Apes? Did he? Yeah. So that's even better, right? Like good for Board Ape. Board yeah. Ape. Yeah. And what's crazy is if you held a Board Ape, and I got into Mutant Ape when the floor was like five. So like, and for me, I I really God just. Fuck. Well, I did it because of a couple people that I saw on social media who I believe in their, you know, yeah. I'll just say FaZe Banks, uh, big shout out to Tav, you know, like P uh, Pete, who manages Juice World and Rest in Peace and all these other people. Like, I I've noticed that they were buying into these projects and I kind of followed their footsteps and it's been great. But literally in the last week, you know, if you held one of these projects, you were able to claim your free ape coin. Mm -hmm. So I got 2,040 free ape coin, which... When I got it, ApeCoin was about twenty bucks. I think now it's down to like six, fifteen or sixteen, but that's forty thousand oh. dollars. Yeah, in free that's token, crazy. and you can that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you can sell it and just keep it as cash. That's so crazy to me. That's so dope. But yeah, yeah, damn. With a it is a buck. rich people club though, like for sure. Not the barrier to entry is like you don't. You gotta have a lot of. You gotta have a lot, unless you you're able have, to catch it early and then. Yeah, you could, catch yeah. it early, but yeah. It's a rich people club, but it's also like a way for people to like. You know, if you let's say you had 15 K or let's say you have 50 K in your bank, right? Which mm -hmm. is actually a lot of money in the bank. But like and you put three, four ETH into a mutant ape because you just believed in it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like eight to ten grand. Right. You'd now have Yeah, I mean significant Yeah, money. if you but dude, the risk. I mean, now the that risk, ev yeah. now everyone's probably beating themselves up that, you know, missed out. But like yeah. if you don't know about it and you could lose that money, man, that that could be like for instance, you got a kid <laughs> back to abortion. <laughs> you that could be your kid's lunch yeah. money. It could, yeah, it could be. Kid's gonna go starving just it for a fucking be. JPEG. I guess I don't think of it sometimes from that like real life perspective because yeah. I'm such a like I like to be very risky. Yeah, in my yeah, life, but I mean, you know? it's cool. Yeah, it's you get to reap the benefit. More risk, more reward, right? Yeah. So that's dope. Yeah, but what I've noticed is anybody that's ever sold a board ape product that I know or that I've seen, are like they beating always, themselves up? Yeah, like they regret it. You know, it's so like Makes like sense. if you held your board ape for just a month. Or two, like it went from I think like fifty four to like one hundred and whatever, one hundred thirty. So I'm holding my fucking mutant to the moon, bro. But um, definitely holding my other deeds as well. I actually bought a second one. Um, I paid like actually a lot. I paid like almost eight ETH for it. So wait, what? What another mutant? No, another other deed, which is oh, the oh, other, gotcha, other gotcha, side gotcha. member. So I wanted to have two of them, gotcha. but so we'll see. I'm holding them. Um, but there's some other cool projects. You know, World of Women is great. Uh, cool cats is great and these are projects that have been around since kind of like the day one of you know open sea launch and they've stayed stayed you know popping and they're doing a lot of cool things with their communities so world of women yeah um fucking cool cats clone x artifact is great um those are you just should really ones. like you should really like um I mean, what it, do you, so I know you can't give financial advice because you have to be like accredited but do you have yeah. to be like accredited to talk about no, you can and talk if, about it. You could talk about it, I right? I can talk about it. Like, you can't, yeah. but it's not financial advice, right? No. I could just, I, I mean, I probably could speak about it as long as I give the disclaimer, but I could just say what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, disclaimer, no disclaimer, but you have to be, like, accredited to be, like, talk about, like, stocks or financial guidance. Yeah. or Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can't just. I think accredited is, like, you have, like, half a million dollars. Like No, 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 no. You have to be, like certified you can't just like if you it doesn't matter if you're rich you can't just like in the stock market i don't think you can just tell people shit we could talk about what you're doing like i can yeah say, i could sit here and say like i'm doing this this and this right and this, right right but i probably can't like advise to it right, right. do you yeah. do you think all right i want this is a question i have that you might be able to answer do you think what do you think it's gonna look like when they start really regulating this shit i don't know yeah, no one knows, right? I don't you have an answer to that. The whole point point of it, to my understanding, is you is can't right? decentralize. Yeah. Right. That it's not regulated. I feel like anytime anytime there's taxes involved, man. But I guess it is being regulated in certain areas, right? Like certain places you can't buy Bitcoin or you can't you can't do X, mm. Y, and Z, right? So is it really decentralized? Sheesh. Go down the not. rabbit hole. I guess yeah. it's not, you know? I don't know. Who knows? But I just think blockchain as a it's just so revolutionary, bro. I think what I we're think, going yeah. through is like the e-com re revolution, like the industrial revolution. Like, yeah, the more and more I see it, because yeah. you're always talking about it, the more and more I like, I see like, I see that the place in it, like the like you could just buy an NFT and be a ticket, 
and then yeah. you know whatever yeah. it's to to an event or you could own ownership in a creative project now yeah like it's it's pretty dope i like it i took me a minute to understand it and i still don't understand it but i see it i see yeah. it see i see its place it's not going nowhere it's not going nowhere it's just yeah. getting started um man i think that's all we got that was good i i good. like that i think we, about that. we touched on a, some cool shit today like yeah fuck yeah yeah well, that's it for this episode, guys. Hey, uh, but let us know yeah. if you like that. Like. Yeah, give us feedback, guys. We we really, you know, I believe in this podcast. You know, I want to take it to a level where it's significant in, in pop culture and, like, it's relevant and we mm-hmm. have really amazing guests. Um, so let us know, know, yeah, what you think. Yeah, let us know, you know, because we, we really do have, like, quite an awesome network of folks in our in our network, and mm-hmm. I think we could get those people on. Like, we could get, we could probably get to the Gary V's and stuff, but we really want to perfect our craft right. and make sure that, we're comfortable with being on camera and also giving you guys the knowledge and being, you know, uh, asking the right questions. So just give us your feedback. Let us know what you think. We want to provide as much value to you guys as we can. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I got. But, uh, you got anything else, Christian? No, nah, man. No. Nah, um, yeah. Let us know. Let us know. Like we, we definitely want to, you know, bring the best content to you guys and yeah you know let us know we're not gonna take it yeah even even bad criticism good criticism like it doesn't matter just let us know constructive is always good uh that's it for this episode we'll be back i'm gonna try and post twice a week now that's my my new cane so i gotta step the fuck up cool um so we'll be back you know what'd be kind of dope too is if we did a podcast on the road we should do one in miami this week yeah maybe cool yeah I think that would be How dope. do we do? We just need a laptop and a fucking couple mics. Uh, yeah. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to set it up. We'll just or see. no, I even saw like on Impulsive, they did it with the recorders on the phone. They just had a look, like Sitting the plug in mic couch. and they just sit yeah. there. Yeah. And then, um, you know, we can do it on with, I have a couple cameras. We could, we could. Let's do know. it. That would be dope. Yeah. A lot of, everyone's in Miami this weekend, so we'll find cool. someone. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. That's it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, leave us your feedback. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you guys soon.